Hey, I'm Jess Birkin with Birkin Law Office, and this is Tom Wordish of Novellus Insurance, and we are talking about nonprofit life cycle insurance needs. We sure are, and we're getting through. We talked about it, the new startup nonprofit. Yep. We talked about adding some people, and we're just going through kind of what else can happen. Yep. We talked about hiring employees and work comp. Check out those videos. And now today we're going to talk about what are you going to do when you get a place, right? You've been a tiny nonprofit, you've been maybe sharing space or borrowing space or having no space, and now you're going to rent a space for yourself or you're going to buy a building. Um, Tom, what insurance do we need to think about when we're getting a place? Absolutely, yeah, good question. So it's kind of like the business version of a homeowner's policy as an individual. If you think about it that way, you know, you have a, a building that you own, and like, let's say lightning hits it and it burns down. Well, what's going to happen? Okay, well, we have to rebuild the building. We have to replace our stuff. We have to go somewhere while we can't occupy that building. And then we are going to undoubtedly lose some revenue while we are displaced. Uh, so yeah. we have to take care of all that. And a couple different ways that insurance companies will write that. It might be on a nonprofit business owner's policy. So short name for that would be a BOP. Okay. Or it might be bop? on a non yeah real? we go bopping <laughs> yeah or it might be on a nonprofit commercial package policy oh, that's and not as fun not as cool not the CPP yeah you know me maybe something like that um, you down with CPP yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are <laughs> but um, you know it includes some you know premise liability coverage some business property coverage for the bricks and sticks of the building and then sticks. some coverage for your computers your laptops you know, desks, all those things yeah. that can be destroyed right. and all the stuff you have to buy. Now, if you have some really fancy equipment, like, I don't know, like, let's say your nonprofit is like, you know, removing cataracts from eyes of kids or something like that. You have expensive equipment. You're going to want to look at an inland marine policy for really expensive equipment. But we're talking. Wait, what? Inland like, marine? Inland marine. That yeah. We like got some weird names for policies. Inland marine? Yeah. Like, not a boat? Or yeah. a boat that's on the land. Yeah. What is? <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. Couldn't we... tell you. Inland, equipment. Yeah. It just covers equipment. Yeah. It's and it's for called an inland, inland marine, marine policy. policy. Okay. Well, yeah. we would not have known to ask for that. So, so, like, if you have expensive equipment, let's talk about that and make sure it's not excluded or stuff that you take around with you yeah. to different places that doesn't stay in your premise. Um, it's kind of like a homeowner's policy if you have like the you know, the Hope Diamond in your house. Yeah, or well, music studio exactly. or something unusual. Yeah, they're yeah. not gonna they're not gonna be like, oh, okay, we're gonna cover this Hope Diamond or your recording studio or your yeah, bar in the basement that you know, whatever. Those weird things that can happen. Yeah. Your uh, pinball just, machine collection. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So talk about those kind of one off things that happen outside of like a typical more office environment. That's what your BOP or C P P is going to cover. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help it. I This is the most fun insurance video because the yeah. names, man. Yeah, we've got acronyms Marine. for days. I'm going to make that my rap name. <laughs> Inland Marine. What up? Uh, all right, what else do we need to know? So, I mean, I think that's kind of it. It's So, what what's not covered? Special equipment. Yep, yep. Um, those, the, the really expensive equipment. Let's talk about that and make sure we can include it. Things okay. you take with you. Um, you know, some of the other things that we talked about relating to your employees or relating to, you know, like a work comp or EPLI, those are different policies. This is really okay. for the property. This it's is really the stuff. So the, pipe bursts in the yep. middle of the night. You come in, your whole soup your, kitchen is yeah, flooded and wrecked. You're swimming in the basement. Yeah. Call them, get somebody to clean it up. Make yeah. a claim on your BOP or your gotcha. CPP. All yep. right. And that's really the kind of stuff that could completely crush or cripple your nonprofit organization. So I would think that that's just part of your due diligence. Anytime you're considering signing a lease or buying a building, you should be calling your lawyer. That'd be me. There you go. And your insurance guy. That would be that'd me. Be Tom. And we'll talk acronyms. Yeah. Because we've Get got a ton of them. And yeah. your CPP <laughs> and your Inland Marine. There we go. All right. Well, thanks, thanks Tom. Yeah, that, that was, was a fun. good one. Thanks for watching.